Alright, welcome to another TPO Fly of the Month. Uh, this month we're going to do La Francois. So, here we go. We got a size 16 Tiemco Super Point Barbless. The bead is a 2.4 millimeter uh, copper tungsten. Alright, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take crazy glue. I'm going to put a little crazy glue on the hook shank. Alright, now I'm going to take 15 thousandths wire. Lead wire, of course. So we're going to sink this fly. So here I'm going to put that on the hook shank and I put the super glue on there so that the fly doesn't ro the lead doesn't rotate after I'm done tying it. So there the hook is leaded now for my thread. <clears throat> I'm going to use UTC 70 and olive. I always like to use uh olive thread whenever I'm tying with a pheasant tail. Just uh something I've been doing forever. Now, for the tail on uh, the simple fly, I like to use wood duck. A um, little bit more difficult to get, costs a little more, but it's very durable. And the natural barring of the material, I don't think it matters to the fish, but I think it matters to the human beings, which is actually the most important thing, I think. Who cares what the fish think? It's just what it's all about what we think. So I'm gonna tie it in. If you notice, very distinct barring here with this material. I think that's one of the you know, if there was one thing that I think that made this the wood duck work better than a cocktailion or the pheasant tail, I think it is the barring that makes it work. It's the trigger. So now for my ribbing, I'm going to take small copper wire, going to tie that in right behind the bead. Now, the material is pheasant tail. As you can see, I make a lot of these, there's a lot missing. All right, you don't want to use the pheasant tail from the tip, all right, because if you look, that's there's holes and see that, all right, no good. This meat part of the feather here. I could break that one to fit in the bag. The meaty part of the feather here to about I don't know, two inches above the end of the stem. This is all good material for the body. All right, that's what you want to use. So I'm going to cut off, I don't know, 10 or so. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet them, put it in my mouth, I'm going to wet it. If you look, I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it. This way, when I tie it in, I have no bulk. I don't have to make any cuts whatsoever with the scissors. So, I'm going to make a nice, even thread body underneath the fly here. All right. Now, if you notice, this bead is a little big. You can use a 2 millimeter bead whatever you want. Now I'm going to use the rotary feature of the vise here to wrap the body. This Regal vise is great for that. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to tie off the pheasant tail. Alright. Now I'm going to make a cut. Now, if you notice, in a lot of the flies that we make, we counter rib the fly to make it more durable, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm wrapping this toward me. So here, I'm just going to make nice even spacing. All right, I'm going to bring the wire up. Let me get the thread around the camera here. Okay. So there. If you notice, the body has a very nice taper. A lot of that's due to me creating the underbody of the fly. All right, so now we're just going to half hitch this because we're not done with the fly. Of course, we have to put the hot spot in there. Now, I, I would imagine, I would suspect that this fly would work perfect as is. All right, it's got the nice barring on the tails. Look at the nice tapered body. It's tied in the round. Looks the same from every angle. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna 
make our hot spot. So with this, less is definitely more. The thread that we're using here is called Datum Glow Bright. This is one where you're going to have to get it, suck it up, and pay a little bit of money for it. This is number five. They make a range of colors. I, I, I think there's over a dozen. All right. All the fluorescent colors are real fluorescent. It's not dyed and called fluorescent orange. It is fluorescent orange. This is fluorescent fire orange. So if you look, I'm going to take it. I'm going to whip finish. Just make a thin collar behind the bead. And that's it. Very simple and very deadly. Have at it.